guys, welcome back to our health video. Today we're gonna be teaching you five groups of fitness, five do's and five don'ts. So let's get on with the video. Number one is muscular endurance. Muscular endurance is how long you can spend while doing an exercise and how much your muscles can take. Right. Some examples would be plank as a muscular endurance exercise. Do a little bit of that and you hold it for as many seconds as you can. Running is one exercise. Number two, flexibility. Flexibility is being able to twist or bend your body without breaking muscles. You know, so let's show you some activities. Some activities you can do are lunges. Get them lunges in. You know, this is a good activity <laughs> to do. Just at school, you know, chilling, going to class. Just Muscular strength is the amount of weight your body can take before it can't anymore. So my partner, Bella, and I will be demonstrating what muscular strength can be. We're going to take these freshman benches. Oh, it's just a sponge. Freshman benches. See if we can lift them up. We can. And then hey, guys. I'm back. So the fourth one is cardiovascular endurance. What that is is how efficiently your heart, your blood vessels, and your lungs supply oxygen to your muscles during physical activity. <laughs> Our final piece is body composition. That's how you show what your body's made up of, including fats, minerals, proteins, and body water. So, five things teens need to know about fitness is first, don't instantly just like start, you know, bench pressing 150 pounds or whatever. Start small and work your way up so you're building muscular endurance. Fitness isn't all about, you know, uh, exercising a ton. You can always be on that grind. But it's also important to eat healthy, get lots of sleep, and make good choices. Have good form when you're doing it. Don't be doing your push-ups like this. That's not good, you know, form because that's not going to help you in the end. Set goals for yourself, set small goals, and then make bigger goals. It's easier to do. Find the kind of fitness that works for you. You don't have to be a runner if you're not the best at running. Try lifting weights or something else. You don't have to be like everyone else. Now that we're in our workout clothes, let's tell you the five do's and the five don'ts of exercise. Okay, first, you got to warm up your muscles. Let's start with some jumping jacks. Yeah. We're gonna do some stretches. Just, oh, just like this. Stretch. Do some arms. <laughs> Arm swing. Yeah. Uh, do some high knees. Okay. All the way up there. The reason why you want to warm up is so that your muscles can be more pliable so you don't hurt yourself. Second, you gotta drink lots of water so you can be trendy and so you don't get dehydrated and die. Or so you can live. Everyone needs water. 99, 100. Lifting weights can help reduce back pain, depression, and diabetes. Rest now. I'm gonna keep going. And then I'm gonna rest. Interval training helps by making you so you don't use up all your energy at once, but let's spread it out over time. Just finishing doing my weights, my squats. I better stretch now. Let's touch my toes. Throughout the time you're exercising, you want to stretch often because your muscles get super tense and you don't want them to tear. So it's good to stretch, like we said before, because they become more pliable and so you don't get hurt, you know? Now it's time for the five don'ts. I'm not gonna eat anything with sodium, fat, <laughs> or carbs. Wait, that's not the right thinking. It's not good to think that you can Fast because it takes progression in time. So you should give yourself a break. Oh my, my legs! I didn't stretch when I started running, and that's bad because I now tore my muscles. That's why you should stretch, kids. So um, I totally forgot to eat before I came to the gym, but I think it's fine. Like you know, I won't have any fat, extra fat. So 
Oh my gosh, I should have eaten before I come because there's no calories in me to burn. And I'm just so sick. I'm throwing up everything. Fine, coach, just put me in. No, get out. You're not fine. My, my foot's fine. No. I'm not hurt. When you, okay, when you exercise, you can't be exercising on an injury or else it makes it worse. And I ain't gonna do it. You're in the video too. You take your elbows and you do a little and you stretch your foot. <laughs> Telling you the five groups of fitness, five do's, five don'ts. So let's get. Stay healthy, stay good, stay positive, stay fresh, fresh. Joy Yeah. 